The central governor was joined by the acting provincial administrator Francisco Waba and scientist Vagi Ray from the Conservation Environment Protection Authority, or SEPA. The report, although delayed, had findings that were scientific in nature and difficult to interpret. However, the governor said the release of the findings will assist the inhabitants of Campbell's River to be better informed of the outcome. Fish kills occurred less than 24 hours from midnight to sunrise. Most fish observed were on the water surface gasping for air and found dilapidated and fresh dead fish. Cause of the death is attributed to clogged gills as a result, result of high sedimentation. High levels of turbidity may have also reduced vision for fish to feed thereby starving them causing death. Scientist Vagire said the delay of the report was due to the process of defining the chemical results. The test has been done, but we needed to be paid for in order for the results to come back. Um, that should not take more than a week. Unless we have the funding available, the results will just come straight to us. The other component of trying to get the, the, the results actually being uh, analyzed we needed to give to two or three other organizations. Governor Agarabe also made mention that the community along the Campbell's River would benefit from the tanks supplied for the people to access clean water. We actually had a lot, big stock of tanks as part of our program to have fresh, fresh clean, uh, clean, clean, clean rain water at all our health centers and our schools. So. When, they, when we had this disaster, we already had an excess amount of tanks already. So the technical team will return to undertake sampling of the water and sedimentation at the exact sites for further lab testing. And the technical team will conduct awareness at the impacted villages on the findings of the fish kills and to give some reassurance as soon as practical. Gertrude Gabi, National MTV News.